So, <laughs> last time I licked a block of ice, I was stuck in my in my garage for about 37 hours. But we're not going to talk about this today. We're going to talk about who should be the next Wolverine. And these people are going to tell you who they are. Please introduce yourself. Tell us a fun fact, your major, and um, what your favorite t-shirt is. All right, I'm Nate. I'm a sophomore here at Fall State, and I'm a TCOM major, and my favorite t-shirt is a Mr. Rogers t-shirt. I have. Solid choice. Yeah, I have Mr. Rogers. Hi, I'm Ben Nelson. I'm a junior TCOM student here at Ball State, and my favorite t-shirt is this one. It's a great shirt, by the way. Thank you. I used to have that shirt. My name is Ben B, and I am a sophomore at Ball State, with my major being as telecommunications, and my favorite shirt is the one I'm wearing right now. That's also a really great shirt. Yeah. Pink See, Panther. this is the type of quality we have here at Cardinal Film Fights. People <coughs> wear their favorite shirts just to see us. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm sorry. He doesn't matter. You get them in, so, did you? today, we're going to be doing it how we normally do it, hashtag CFF style, with a one-minute introduction followed by five minutes of fighting where these people just won't get aggressive enough. Just go for it. All right. Just All right. do it. Challenge accepted. Just Followed by 30 it. seconds of whatever they consider conclusion. So if we can get one minute on the clock. We're going to start in the middle. All right. Oh. Get a little crazy. Who knows? All right. So who I think should be the new Wolverine after Hugh Jackman's retirement is the very actor that Hugh Jackman endorsed to be Wolverine after his departure, and that is Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy has a wonderful amount of experience doing uh, comic book movies in the past, being Bane in Dark Knight Rises and being Eddie Brock in Venom. And I honestly do believe that he would be like the one actor who would actually be willing to wear that um, yellow Wolverine costume because he's been wearing costumes practically for his entire career, especially with Dunkirk and also Mad Max. And so like he is talented enough and he can get very angry enough to play this role. and. I can honestly see him getting fuzzy enough to get the whole Wolverine aspect down to it. I can honestly see him going into full beast mode. He practically did in previous works, and I am very excited to see that portrayal of the character. The actor that I chose for hopefully to play and play as Wolverine as a replacement to Hugh Jackman could be Colin Farrell. I mean, because any character that he would try to play, he would always play as some sort of bad to the bone character like Ask, Ask the Dust movie that may be independent, but his character was still a oh I'm bad to the bone baby or um or you know, he plays as an action hero type of guy from Total Recall and hmm, you know, I say just give him a shot, even though I thought Tom Hardy might get it. Mm-hmm. Just audition to it, at least. Okay, here's the thing. Who should play Wolverine? No other than the guy who should have won Best Actor at the Oscars, Bradley Cooper. You look at some of his movies, recent movies, A Star is Born and like American Sniper, he's playing like a grizzled kind of man in those movies. And that's perfect for what Wolverine is. He can get scruffy for that role, as we saw in A Star is Born. He can get dirty for the role. He's already Rocket Raccoon. And maybe that's a little bit of a different of a character for uh, than Wolverine actually is. But I still think he has that just nasty tone down to the core. And, okay, maybe I also would... I'll save it for later. I'm sorry. Conserving arguments. It's a, it's a new approach. I haven't mm -hmm. seen that before. Well, now it's time for you to uh, get angry like the hairy little man himself. <laughs> okay, can I just start? Go I, ahead. You said Tom Hardy would wear that suit. Did he say that in an interview? No, he didn't. I do believe he could. I, I, I honestly do think he would be I, willing to. I don't can, think he would. Can he, no one is. Can he also be Wolverine if he also had a contract, even though they announced that Venom and he Yeah, Venom still, is not doing the MCU. That's not what Feige said. Yeah, no, but he just signed a contract that but he'll the continue. They, it doesn't matter. I mean, that he'll continue Josh playing Brolin as Venom and for Thanos. Tom Hardy. Oh, and what about thank you Brad for making my point. Like, like Josh Boland can be um, 
Cable and Thanos at the same time, Sometimes. practically in the same month. Yeah. And so okay. Venom can also be in its own separate little universe okay, over at Sony. And here's the thing. Tom Hardy can also be Wolverine in the MCU over here. Bradley Cooper has badass down, where I don't think Colin Farrell... I honestly think Bradley his, Cooper no, is too contained. Say, no, I don't think so. But here's the thing. Colin Farrell, when he tries like action movie roles, you get the Total Recall remake. And we all know how that turned out. That turned out to be shit. I think he's good with dramatic stuff, but I don't think he's good enough for Wolverine. Tom Hardy would be a great choice. Thank I would you. say that. But I do think Bradley Cooper would bring something a little bit different to the role. I think he would kind of revamp it and make it feel fresh rather than try and replicate what Hugh Jackman did. And I think people, that's what audiences want when they want a new Wolverine, is somebody different. Somebody who doesn't try and emulate what Hugh Jackman did. And Bradley Cooper and Hugh Jackman have different enough acting styles where I think mm -hmm. Tom Hardy would just be like la, 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 no, for the please. entire time. Tom and, and I love Tom Hardy. But he plays kind of the same kind of characters with multiple calls and blah, 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 blah. Okay. That was a creative choice by Christopher Nolan. But anyway, I, I have never seen Bradley Cooper, like, actually go all out rage. I have never seen him go full beast mode. I can easily see Tom Hardy going full beast mode. He practically did so in Venom. That was CGI. Still, that regardless. Was CGI. That was still his performance. And what about and that was Colin? Because he's acting. always reserved in Dunkirk. He was reserved. Because he had to be. In The Revenant. He because was he reserved had and Mad Max, and that's in the title, Mad And what about Max. Bradley yeah, Cooper? Yeah, precisely. And what precisely. about Bradley Cooper for, for being as Wolverine? The, can't, I know I've seen him before as Rocket in, in Guardians of the Galaxy, but and that was just CGI, a CGI raccoon They're all for all we know, but can he even look like Wolverine? I don't think... Like Hugh the Jack hair, the... the thing. In the, the comics, face, the the in the comics, in the personality, Wolverine is supposed to be like five foot. Isn't he five foot two, five foot four? Around that area. Uh Hugh Jackman is certainly not five foot. He does not look like Wolverine. You use makeup to look like the role. That's what you do. Do you think Christian Bale would? He he looks nothing like Dick Cheney. But in like that movie Vice, they made him look like Dick Cheney. So I don't think that argument is really valid when we have the magic of makeup and hairstyling. And not to mention, going back to my point, like I honestly do think Tom Hardy would be willing to put on the um, yellow spandex See, I don't think fan, so. Finally. I don't think any actor really would. I think Tom Hardy, I think if there is one, he never Tom said that, would. Though. He never did say he that. I, I do it. believe that he would be the one you willing to. You can't go to. on what you believe. You have to go on what is actually said. I know, and it's not said anymore, which means we can't speculate at this point because there is nothing to go there is nothing to base it on. Because Hugh Jackman and Tom Hardy seem like kind of similar enough people. Which is why Tom, Hugh, Hugh Jackman, Jackman, didn't want Hugh to put Jackman on endorsed Tom Hardy to begin with. That's but also something to something con different. consider. People want something and that's different. Why Colin he, Farrell wouldn't give people anything different either. He is kind of a very similar acting style to he, Hugh Jackman. That's why Hugh Jackman and, uh, endorsed him. because he's good in dramatic roles. Not only would Tom Hardy right, like, respect as a his past. Right, for Colin for, Colin Farrell, he he is really good at playing some sort of bad to the bone type of guy, like mm. like saying, "Oh, I don't he's care always about nepotist. your problem. Why don't you?" Yeah. He's always yourself? kind of reserved. Mm. If you see something like the stuff he does with Mark, Martin McDowell with a uh, what what Seven Psychopaths or In Bruges, mm. he, In Bruges, he's playing a hitman, but he's also kind of a little bit nervous, timid in that film. And Tom Hardy, yes, he goes full beast mode, but we saw that in Venom, and where he's in beast mode, he's CGI. Yeah, and you he's doing to... voice work too, which means he can full yeah, present the full the... emotion of what that scene requires. No, his voice was just dubbed with like, Wah! but yeah, that was his that was his voice doing the dubbing can, and whatnot. And can Tom Hardy even offer, you know, some sort of darker voice like Wolverine's, like yeah. Well, okay, but he, what about Bradley Cooper? Can yes, he even offer that? He had a very kind of that kind of voice in *The Star Is Born*. If you saw that, or and even can Bradley American Cooper can, can Bradley Cooper get astronomically mad? Yes, I have not seen, seen that. that yet. I have seen that. I have not seen it from Tom Hardy. I'm just curious. Can we get the actual height of comic book Wolverine real quick? Tom Hardy's five nine. I want to ask you, Nate. According to Marvel Comics, Wolverine is only 5'3". Five 5'3". Three. Five three. And that's with lifts. So, we're going to move into our conclusions. And uh, I'd like to conclude with you, 
So start over here. All right. So what I think Bradley Cooper could bring to the character of Wolverine is he can get that role of a grizzled man very well. And I think versus Tom Hardy, he's always playing the same kind of character. And Colin Farrell, we haven't really seen him in that kind of like role. We've seen him try an action movie and it didn't work at all. Bradley Cooper can really carry a movie. I think even more so than Tom Hardy. Because Tom Hardy's always, he's great as a supporting character. He really is. Bradley Cooper, he did a Star is Born. He carried that. Uh, for Tom Hardy, not only did Hugh Jackman like personally endorse him, but we've seen Tom Hardy grizzled in Mad Max, and we've seen Tom Hardy mad in Venom, and we've seen him like deep and complex in Dunkirk. Like he has the full package, and I would be really surprised if audiences would allow um, both Rocket and Wolverine to sound like the same actor in the MCU. Mm -hmm. And I honestly don't think Colin Farrell will just be up for the role. I believe that Colin Farrell might might be perfect for the Wolverine role because, um, well, not only, well, Total Recall is not the only action movie he was in. He was also Alexander the Great from the movie called Alexander. And, um, you know, I think he has enough strength to try to become come it again, especially all these years from Total Recall. Vaughn, facts. Everything checked out? Everything checked out. Great. You guys, you, you need to you need yeah. to embellish your arguments a little bit more so Vaughn has something to do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm clicking my pen, which means I'm thinking. And I'm thinking that is number three. A star is born, but it's not Bradley Cooper. What? <laughs> Nate. Sorry, man. Uh, uh, though, I love the film. Though, yeah. though it would be a breath of fresh air, as you said. Um, he's grizzled, but when have you ever seen the animalistic anger? Even you know, Bradley I really Cooper. Seen that Bradley Cooper is. I'll get to that, but you can just. Stop okay. while I'm judging and hosting. Yeah. <laughs> so you did good, man. Thank you. He doesn't have the animalistic nature in his anger. We've seen him angry. We've we've seen him yelling on the side of a road in Las Vegas because he lost Doug. But have we seen him <laughs> wanting to rip someone's throat out? Not in the same way. Yeah, American Sniper. Okay. Well, no, <laughs> not in my judgment. Mm. For number two, we have Colin Farrell, an Irishman, which I respect because, as my pale nature implies, I have Irish heritage. Um, he does, he has a badass swagger around him, one that I think could carry the mantle of Wolverine, potentially. Um, he does have a history in action films and could work with, you know, stunts and mm -hmm. action type stuff. Mm -hmm. So, for that reason, you gained second place. Mad respect, yo. Mm -hmm. And... In first place, we have Tom Hardy. Thank you. A man who's undeniably good in action roles, and please be careful with the mic for the love of God. So, Tom Hardy, he's, he's just, he has that nature about him. I wanna see him in yellow spandex. Thank you. You put that image in my head, and now it won't leave. I'm kinda scared. And you know, I don't think his motion cap work in Venom impedes his ability to, you know, bring his face to the role. Mm -hmm. um, that boy gets mad. Yes. He can bring it. Um, this has been Cardinal Film Fights. That's who I think should be Wolverine. Who do you think should be Wolverine? Leave it in the comments. Like, dislike, I don't really care. Follow us on social media, at Card Film Fights. And uh, it's been fun, yo. Have a good night.